Okay guys, welcome back to my next big project. Uh, obviously I'm going to be making a spray booth out of this TV. It is a good size for it. Um, as you, you guys know that I have a, uh, an old dryer that I was going to make a spray booth out of. But, there, it's, hmm, I'll get into that in a minute. This just seems to be more perfect for it. This is 48 inches wide and 2 feet high. And if you can imagine, if it's just a little bit higher, it's going to be a perfect size and lots of elbow room. A lot of, um, if you're spraying from like left to right, lots of elbow room. And the great thing about this, I think, is going to be is this big plastic shell. Because it's going to be easy to cut and easy to mount the fan right there on the back. Um, right in the middle and I think the contours of it are going to suck the paint fumes straight into the middle and into the fan and out to the tube that I'll attach later but quite a bit has to be done of course it has to be gutted I have to get everything out of there which is no problem because I actually have another channel where I take things apart and so I will be filming the entire disassembly for that. And at the end of this video, I will put the, um, the link to that video in case anybody's interested in seeing what's inside one of these kind of TVs. But otherwise, the next scene will be a big empty shell. But a lot will have happened in between. Okay. Okay, so here's the first look at what we've got here. We've got the shell off of there. It's just on the ground over here and we of course got to get these color guns out of here so once the screen is removed and that's going to remove nice and easy it's just held on by screws and a uh, frame and of course got to get all those electronics out of there and then we are going to have when we put the shell back on it's going to be a good seal because these things have to be sealed because of um, they got to keep dust out of here because of the mirror and the projector and so on so I need to leave all of this exactly like it is so that I can retain that perfect seal so the paint fumes can't get out of it which means this little piece here has to stay on because that fits into a notch in the back of the screen right down there and so that'll keep that sealed and then once these color guns are out of here you can see where you're going to be able to just put a piece of wood across there I'm just going to use a piece of quarter inch and I think that it's going to be a pretty flat surface there to make a floor for the spray booth itself and then all the other walls will be there already so that's pretty neat. All right, let's move on. Okay, so we got it pretty well gutted. I got all the, oh, in case you're all wondering what is inside one of those things, this is what's inside one of those things. Three big color guns with CRTs and a whole tray of circuit boards and a bird's nest of wires. That's all out of there now, and we've got a big empty cavern there now. And we've got where we are going to be able to build a platform to cover this hole. And, um, you know, when we get down to it, I might want to open up the front there. Because looking at it here, if I were to take this area off, if I were to cut that off, I would have um, some storage space. So I may do that, I may not, I don't know. I may do that at a later time. Of course, what we got to do now is get this screen off of here. And so what I'll do is I'll take off all these screws and get that frame off of there, get the screen off, and put the shell back on and see where we're at. Okay, so I've got the backpack on it. And as you can see, we've got a nice flush seal there. I haven't screwed it on yet, so even when it's screwed on, it's going to be uh, even tighter. 
So it's a total seal all the way around there, there, and there. But now, of course, on the inside here, this is where we have a big gaping hole. So, uh, you know, I will film this more on a brighter day, but uh, you can see what, what we're going to be doing here. Basically, the um, fan is going to be mounted right about there. It's going to be easy to cut through the plastic and it'll mount on the outside and mount up just like a bathroom fan because it is a bathroom fan. And it's going to be really easy to see where I'm going to need to seal. We got a nice solid seal all the way around the front and all the way around the back there. Looks like they use some kind of they use some tape here because there is a hole there. So I'll see if I'm going to be using tape or what. You see that hole right there? But definitely pretty easy to fill these holes. And of course the big gaping hole there will just be a piece of wood. Just stretch a piece of wood across, straight across. Custom fit piece of wood. And then of course when it's clamped down you won't see openings like what you see over there. All right, this is good. This is real good. This is getting pretty exciting. So that is going to be TV spray booth. All right, I have no idea what's going to be next. It's going to be a different day because it's getting to be nighttime here, and we'll see you in the next scene. Okay, so moving on, you can see it's starting to look like something. I have um, cut the hole in the back. I cut a very tight hole so that that would fit in there snugly and I will just have to um, caulk around the edge there to make a total seal. But now looking at this crazy gooseneck pattern, let me explain that. That is on purpose because as you, some of you might know, it's going into a really tight area where I'm really not going to be able to get around to the back of it. And so you're going to have to imagine a wall right there at the back of it going all the way up and so that exhaust tube there is going to have to attach to whatever I come up with to attach to the wall and I need access to that from the front I'm gonna to have to reach over or possibly next to it somehow I need access to that from the front because I won't be able to get around to the back of it and that will attach to um, somehow that will attach to a hole in the wall and a dryer vent on the outside of the building, outside of the shed. And uh, that's how that's going to work. And so let's take a look on the inside here. As you can see there, this is not going to be, that is the exact angle there. So this is not an updraft or a backdraft or a downdraft. It's a kind of a kind of an angle draft, and I don't know how that's going to work out. I've actually never used a paint booth, but this is what it looks like. It's in there, nice and tight. I, you know, I definitely got to caulk it. But um, this cover is going to go on there, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to work out some type of a Velcro frame on there because I'm going to want to keep on putting filters on there um, because the filters of course will continually get clogged with paint and rather than trying to get it up in there I think it would be better to velcro it to the outside so that I won't have to open this and this is by the way you know the classic thing with those hinge things so that if it's all the way up there and you pull out, it'll hold itself like there so that you can swing it and get a um, whatever you would need to do in there. But I don't think so. I think I want to leave it on all the time and Velcro, Velcro filters onto the outside. But anyway, that's where we're at there. And uh, I think that the next stage would be to... Uh, make that piece of wood to cover this big gaping hole. 
So how do we next? Okay, and so here we go. I've moved it into the shed now. This is its permanent location. This is where I'll be keeping it. As you can see, that is the outer shed wall there. And where this is, this is actually right on the other side of the wall from my hobby area. I know originally I had said that I was going to be putting it over here where this old dryer is. This, this old dryer was going to be the spray booth. But... Uh, the TV is wider than this, and if I were to put it in there, uh, we're going to be really cramped. So I decided to just expand and move into the next room. And so that's where it's going to be. And let me show you where I'm at on it. So I've covered the big gaping hole on the bottom, a piece of wood, and as you can see I've caulked the air gap. Also, I have caulked up here on the um, fan. As you can see there, I have caulked all the way around that to make sure that we've got no um, leaks. And now this is what I was talking about with the uh, filter, air filter. This is um, just a square cut out of one of the big, uh, what do you call, universal air filters. And I have glued Velcro strips onto it so that it just hooks onto there. And, uh, you know, I cut up the rest of the uh, filter into spares. So as I clog them, I just grab a new one and put it on there. And uh, these are... Okay, so what I have here now, if you remember, this was going to be going straight out nice and up high like that but I've changed my mind on that and I didn't want it to be a rigid fit either um, if you're if you've uh, seen behind your dryer it's got a kind of a flexible hose so that you can pull the thing out and in at least a little bit um, before twisting something and so it is not going to go up high like that I, I'm going to put it quite a bit lower I bought this uh, extension this expands out like a straw and bins and so on. So where I can put the uh, dryer vent on the outside anywhere on the wall that I want uh, within reason, within reach and I will just kind of guess at a spot. And I got the clamps and everything to uh, do that properly and screws to screw it in, in there. All I've got to do is cut a hole in the side of the shed and that's just tin. Just, uh, just, uh, tin. And, uh, there we go. And, I, oh yeah, it's been wired. I've got just a light switch, straight circuit on off. And it's plugged in, actually. What we can do is turn it on. And there it goes. Unfortunately, right now, it's not doing much good because it's just blowing. It's blowing right there. It's blowing pretty good. So, I guess the next thing, I imagine the whole thing will be installed and done. And uh, that'll be that. So, we'll see you in the next scene. Okay, so I decided to go a different way with it. I was going to have this uh, hooked up behind it, but then common sense told me to just, because um, these are directional, so I just uh, um, curved it off to the side, attached it, and down here. So now I never have to pull the thing out. It's um, totally accessible right there on the side. And... It's all clamped up and attached, and I turned it on. We can turn it on. There it goes. Doesn't look like anything's moving. Because nothing's moving. The air is moving, and I guess at this point we'll go out to the outside to show you the um, dryer vent. It's going to look like a dryer vent. There we go. Like 
sweet air coming out of there. And so we have a new feature on the shed. And, and this is just a tight little alley here where we can let all kinds of paint fumes kill the grass, I guess. Anyway, let's go inside and test it out. Okay, so after all that work, here goes the moment of truth. We're going to spray something for the first time and see if the room fills with fumes. So I've got here, this is the parachute. You probably recognize that as a parachute from the tarantula kit. And I've just got some regular, actually I've got that Walmart. That's Walmart white paint. And we're about to spray it and see what happens. So let's happen. Let's <laughs> try it. Fumes going up into the the um, exhaust. What else can you ask for? It's much. Well, some of them are making their way out, but they're going back in. Pretty good, not perfect. Of course, now this is with spray cans for the most part. I am switching, I'm going to be switching to airbrush now. So much, much less paint. But, I mean, it sucks it out. It comes, it forms a little cloud. I can't really smell it, so it's not making it to me. Uh, I guess it kind of makes a big cloud and then sucks it back in. Already seeing it start to form on the, on the filter there. But... Yeah, let's see. I'll be stand back a little bit and there it goes. I don't know. Can't really see my screen good. Yeah, it's going up there. Okay, well there we go. Up it goes. So that's a TV spray booth. Appreciate you all watching. Watch that. Appreciate you all watching. And, uh, you know, in the future, I'll probably... I may or may not, because I could add extra fans and then just make a junction up there on the exhaust to make it suck more. Or cut a bigger hole and put a bigger fan. One way or the other, I can finally paint at 3 o'clock in the morning while it's raining. Uh, and freezing. So, game on. Thanks for watching, everybody, and y'all have a good one.